This video is primarily about the accessory cables. This is $6.99 on Parts Express and you would want to buy this if you need to connect your 18650 balancer. This is a balancer. Now, I want to show the cables because it's a little intimidating at first. Everything's kind of uh, packaged, uh, bundled together inside. So it comes with, with, with these, and this is the power indicator, which works the same as what's on the board here. You push this button, it's the same as you push this button right there. Um, now this goes right here. This is the um, a kind of a Molex a plug, a pin. Uh, I believe it's uh, six pins. Now that goes in there and this is so that you can attach it to your box and you push it to see where you're at. Uh, we'll see how that works here in a little bit. Um, next I want to show is this piece right here, this cable. This is a four pin Molex cable and it looks like it's um, the both yellow and the both black, I mean power and ground, are connected to and terminated on a ring terminal. But nowhere on this board is a four pin Molex. So yeah, useful I guess if you have something else that goes with it. I, I do not. Now here's another piece that came with it. And this is a four pin mini, um, I don't know if it's a Molex, it's just a four pin connect connection, very small connection. I'm trying to zoom in here. Now this same cable is in this box. This comes with the balancer. So I just looked, uh, there's only two possibilities that I could use that on. It's here and here, and that's for the output. So it's it splits it negative, negative, positive, positive for 21 volts uh, uh, to supply a board. Um, charging is here, here, here. And I believe, um, I have to look what this one is. Uh, I'll correct it. The number four is expansion port. So this will go to, I'm, I'm assuming, the the KAB uh, amplifier board, which I'm not using. I'm using this one very similar to what the uh, Parts Express sells. You get the large heat sink going across it here. So one other cable that it comes with is, is a two uh, pin Molex. You can see how it's kind of angled there at the end. And this one's gonna go right here in here. This will supply, this will power it. So power, 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 and power. So, and you can see it on the board here, positive, 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 negative, 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 and out. So this is in, 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 in. Uh, and so this piece is for these, it comes with one. Now, for whatever reason, this little baggie's inside this bag, and this, is, it, it calls out the, the same board. That's 325-136 is this board. And the color codes, the connections and the light are the same as to what's already in there. Uh, and this gets connected uh, respectively. Um, well, I shouldn't say respectively because I don't know the color codes. Um, if there's a color difference as of yet, I'm still yet to connect it. So here and here. So I have this connected in a bit. I'm gonna uh, hook up some 18650 lithium batteries. I've already, uh, I salvaged these from a an old laptop. Uh, I made sure to, Make sure when you do salvage, you don't expose the inside because uh, he's tin, the uh, the, uh, the solder. Sometimes if you're, you're salvaging, you're pulling it, you you can mess them up and forget it. So they've held voltage for the last month for at 4.2, great. That's what I'm gonna use. They're, they're uh, let's see, they're, I think they're Sanyo's, uh, 2,500 milliamps. So we're gonna use those. And we will also, um, here's my little reference sheet. Um, we'll, 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 we're gonna test this out now. If you might, if you've seen my other videos, you might, this might look familiar. This is a, the Gaten logo. So I finished this box and it's, I'm just using it as a desk now. Uh, I'll talk about that later. So another piece of instructions it says is that you have to 
connected to power. I'm using this just to jump start the board because that jump starts the board and gets all the circuits kind of uh, um, gets get something flowing so that it senses the connectivity between all of these cells. All right, so one more thing I didn't talk about these two here. Now this four pin, excuse me, this four pin goes into here, here, it can go here or here. So um, there's a lot of connections on this board. Um, this is another cable that's also in the, the pack, the battery uh, cable, rather the charging cable package, but it is a um, much smaller Molex cable than what is can actually be used. There's these two. So I don't know what this would be used for because it doesn't fit anywhere here. It's too small of a, uh, of a connection. And if I ever find out, I'll, I'll let you guys know. All right. I already put the 18650 lithium batteries in. I ch make sure you check on the board, not on the plastic uh, holders. The polarity, there's been some some bad reviews about that so check the board sometimes people mess up the quality control doesn't even, even uh, pay attention to it so um i already connected this and without plugging it in remember how i said you have to jump start it so you got to do that there's no charge this is supposed to be one is the charge and one is the uh when it's in use when it's applying power at least that's how i understand it to be um this without plugging it in works the only thing, and you can see right there, there's a, it's 100%, 75, 50, and then 25%. I just don't know. I would assume, you know, based on here, it would, uh, it, it, it would scale through, but I'm going to let this run down. So, and then with a masking tape, uh, connect it. Now, let me explain why I'm doing this. Um, outside of the box as opposed to just throwing it in to the boom box. I've read there's been two instances uh, re review wise that they criticize this board not working with this specific five cell balancer. So I'm gonna check that. I'm gonna deplete the, the power of the cells, charge them again, deplete charge again and then play also with, with the orientation i already have this orientation um with with uh, with it plugged in trying to use a board and whatnot so i already have this this board it says that it's two ohm stable so this is a two ohm sub this is a 12 uh, 1250 rms watt sub but you know and this is only going to give you 100 watts it says max well not well i don't know if it's max or rms it doesn't really say rms because we only really use rms for um, audio for car audio rather so let's get that let's get it all connected and and uh and put this on my um connect this on to the sub and see if it works and uh i'll let everybody know what what uh what comes of it